Welcome to my studio. I'm in Sausalito, California, and this is a walkthrough of my uh, art in my studio. As you come in, there's always something new to see, and as we enter into the first gallery, we come up to the first painting, which is from a photo of actually a Polaroid from New York that I took in 1967. Finally, I painted it. Now that's probably the oldest image I started with, and this one's from the Presidio in California. The really light, light fog just as it's starting to break up. And up to Mendocino in the springtime, March, right in the uh, beautiful Mendocino coastline and on the beach and the trees. This is my mantle, my home. It's where I live. It's kind of an intimate view of my collection, my interior of my apartment. It's my favorite tree. I've painted and photographed this tree hundreds of times, photographed it, but this is my favorite painting. This is a, my Monet of the giant oak tree in uh, the woods. It's my neighbor, coffee shop. This is Giuseppe. He's standing there with my two dogs. And we move on. And this is another shot of uh, one of my mantelpiece paintings. It's a large oil. The Dalla Horse, which uh, I really love painting the Dalla Horse. It's a fun, fun image to work with. And here's an older photo painting. This is uh, Tennessee Valley Road. And walking up further Tennessee Valley Road past that big oak tree is the creek. The bridge goes over the creek and this is the water. We finally got enough water to really fill the creek this spring. We got all excited about rain. And a sunset from Sausalito Yacht Harbor. And another. This is another sunset. This is from Mount Tam looking down over Alima Valley into Point Reyes. Beautiful golden hills. And as we move from the next room, this is the antique room, which I've uh, outfitted with some interesting uh, pieces, which are sort of graphic designed. This is a blow up. This box was an inch by two inches by about six inches, blown up really large. Corvette 58. And a box. This is an industrial grade box and just like the image and there's the original box that the painting is made from and this is an old Raleigh cigarette pack from probably the early 50s I'm not sure the exact date but it came out of my collection of stuff that I found and we pulled back out of the antique room and there's just the stuff which I have in the shop in the antique area. We move out and come across an image that I started actually in 1975 when I was in graduate school and I've always loved it and painted it really large. These were originally small uh, watercolor and pencil drawings that I turned into a slide sheet. More current, the art boxes especially the one on the left, which was a smaller version of one which we're going to come up into in a minute or so here. This is another section of that large oak that we saw, my favorite tree. And right back into Sausalito, into the dinghies that hang out, the dinghy dock over in Galilee Harbor. Winter grasses. One of my favorite images showing all kinds of color in the grasses up close. And the water image, this is right above where the water is. This is a whole configuration of trees. This is a smaller study for a large painting that I did. And then again we go back and this is the big oak except this is just a section of the branch in the springtime looking through and beyond 
another fog scene on the left, and then a paint box. This is my working, traveling uh, watercolor box on the right. And as we turn over here, this is an image of my studio at a strange angle. And here is the big paint box, which inspired the smaller one. This is a big folding box. And it has two panels of canvas, so it's a horizontal uh, dip dish, one on top of the other. And in, from Monte Rosa and the Cinque Terre is my favorite boat picture of all time. This is uh, uh, unusual to get a clear view of just a single boat. And this is a work of a work. When I was working on this watercolor, I placed the original images on it and then painted it again. And this is what I call Nancy at Sheila's Point here. This is a real beautiful coastal light, very, very typical of the uh, Marin County landscape. And then the Chrissy Field Moonlight and into the newest pieces I've done. These are large watercolors based on an image I created in the uh, 70s. I created six of them. And as we pull back, you get kind of an overview of the studio. And uh, the walk through, this is the presenting front of John Wilmer's studio as you walk in.